Okay, and then we are going to do the destroyer. Uh, yeah, let's do something like that. So now let's get the this kind of connected here. So let's do that. So what they're kind of saying is you should do it like this. You should do check all of these things. And then if it picks something up, it goes to the man scanner to double check it because apparently the man scanner is better. Um, and so then you do a little something like this. And then if the man scanner obviously finds there not to be a problem, then this is the setup. So kind of this is what they're saying. Just do checking but uh, for every subject on the safety baggage categories thingies. Okay. Everyone follow well, this guy. Me <laughs> tonight. Don't have to, but I recommend it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. So anyway, so that's 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 the setup that we're going to try and use. Then what I wanted to do is I actually want to run um, run that on the one side over here. So let's uh, let me run it up all the way over here. Uh, actually, yeah. What I wanted to do is I want to do something like this. Run it over there, and then we'll go underneath. So we'll go underneath, but let's before I go underneath with all of this, let's quickly put in our our roads in here, just so that we don't miss something. Money is picking up again, which I'm uh, happy about. Cash for the new chicken now. Yes, yes, we'll go. We'll go up to the new chicken shortly. Um, okay, I wanted to get these guys like that and like that, like so, like so. Oh, I need to put a bit of wall back there and like so. Okay, so now let's just uh, the conveyor. So what I want to do is I want to do a bit of a step down over here. Um, but also I wanted to do a tilt tray. <clears throat> So if we say that, then there's a tilt tray that's going to run it in this way. I'm going to do a tilt tray over here and a tilt tray over there and a tilt tray over there. And then we're going to do the down, the down transitions as well. So this is kind of how we're going to do it. And now we just need to do the, the up transitions from the, at the bottom here. So I believe that's the spot. Yeah, that should be fine. So we'll go up transition there, up transition there, up transition there. And we're probably gonna need another up transition. Oh, we don't actually need it. Um, okay, let's uh, let's clear that one out then. Uh, and we'll clear out that one. Okay, so now let's uh, quickly get our conveyors in place now. Conveyors. <clears throat> okay, now let's see. Down here and through that way. In there, in there, and that's been the, uh, in there. Okay, so now let's go down and link these up. Okay, so that is kind of the setup that I have in mind here. <clears throat> so let's uh, finish off these sections like that and like that, like that and like so, um, like that and over here. And now we can kind of move all of the um, all of these out as well. So if we do something like this. We'll just kind of load them all onto the same line. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, like so. Bring these in there. Okay, so now all of them are kind of connected up. Just need to uh, rejig this thing over here quickly. So let's just get a gap in the baggage if we can. Uh, there's probably not such a thing. <laughs> tons and tons of baggage coming through. 
when we get new check-in are we gonna make old one a shop small restaurant and baggage claim ps make baggage claim in a secure zone and put the transfer to the land side uh, just after um <clears throat> i'm pause and reconnect yes absolutely and that's what we're gonna do there we go and that's through so now the last bags are through there so let's quickly do that um i am used to um, baggage claim being in secure zones i have very rarely seen that baggage claim is not in the secure zone but but i have but this game doesn't seem to allow doesn't seem to want to allow it that way unless someone unless you've got a, a trick for doing it because i uh, i've not been able to to get it to do that okay let's uh, clear all of these clear all of that there we go that's connected now we just need to tie this one in there and over there so now we should be able to to run this uh, ooh, and of course what we'll do is we'll get rid of those we'll bring this one over here perfect so now all of our baggage bays are connected yes yes that's how it is in real life yes and most airports and most airports baggage uh, claim is in the secure zone but this game doesn't allow it that way okay so now that's connected okay so at the moment okay devs are working on it that's good to know okay now we have our new system up and running so i'll connect these and and kind of share the load a little bit um as soon as we've finished our our new area over here man we need some more janitors let's just get a few more janitors five hopefully they can clean this this nonsense up okay now what we what we need to do is if we want to put the the check-in on the next level we need to see how we're gonna deal with the um somewhere we're gonna have to find a spot for the uh for the baggage uh, carousel piece so let's quickly start off by putting our foundation our second level up here 100k good there we go um and i'm assuming what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get us a bit of an escalator going on somewhere over here maybe in the back over here somewhere so let's uh let's for now get rid of these seating areas uh get everybody to kind of stand up and walk away um, and then we'll i'll just put it straight up against the wall over here there you go that's uh that's how you can get in here and then what will we do let's see how much check-in can we fit in here imagine this people land and teleport to your airport see <laughs> airport and then they leave happy and tell it back to the <laughs> teleport back to the real world <laughs> yes just imagine that i'm sure i'm, I'm sure there's a there's <laughs> <laughs> all kinds of weird stuff that we can do that the game that, that, that in the gaming world we can do of course um okay now let's see check in this is not this is busy but kind of working i don't like queuing like this at least okay anyway let's get back to check in um so let's get some check-in desks and see let's how are we gonna how are we gonna do these i'm i'm gonna I'm tempted to do to do rows right but then we just need to make sure that we leave enough room for queuing so let's say we let's say we do something like this okay let's see what how much room do we have so if we do something like that and there and then I want a bit more room how, did, how much room did we have here yeah that's kind of what we did here like that and like that but there's not enough room really in the center i'm gonna have to make this a little bit bigger because i do want the two rows like this i do not know heathrow terminal 2 i've never been to england uh i've been many places but england's not one of them so i don't know heathrow um at all let's go down let's uh let's expand this section fill that in there need to make a drop-off area 
uh, one way so the cars don't go on top of each other and in the queue. This is one way. This entire thing is one way. This entire thing is one way. But what I am wondering is whether we can go up a level. I don't think uh, I don't think we can go up a level. Let's quickly have a look. If I go with this, I think we can only go under. We can't go. We can't go up. Yeah, we can't go up. We can only go under. So that's uh, that's what's going to work for us. So let's quickly. I'm going to skip. Well, let's leave this as is, and we'll go upstairs and we'll squeeze in this additional area here. Okay, then I'm going to get rid of this. Now this is nice and central. We could almost do three rows like this, but let's see. So that's kind of the spacing that we want over there. Um, now I just need to see. Now let's uh, let's get there. Yes, absolutely. The queuing is going to be a massive issue with this. So I want to space it out appropriately. So let's quickly do a bit of a queue on this one. Kind of gonna do kind of something like that as a queue. Then we need a little bit of a little bit of room in between, and we'll do another one. So how much was that? That was about two. Was about four. So one, two, three, four, like something like this about. Let's have a look. Let's see if we queue if we do the queuing over here now. Come on. That's not enough, is it? 32 is very impressive, especially the entrance. There's a pub inside, landside zone, and you can see takeoff landings on the runway 27 left. Okay, well that's good. That's good. I think this is still too close. We still need to push it out a little bit further. So probably we're only going to have two, two strings of them. And we could also always expand this situation. Yes, I do like, uh, like the airports that actually allow, um, that actually allow you to, to, well, that has proper places to, to have a look at the, um, at the, uh, at the, at the planes. Okay. So let's try this one. If we do uh, the same thing, Come on. We do that same thing. That is pretty good. We can actually have a little string of a little string of seats in the middle over here and potentially seats on the edges. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now let's do see how the queue works on this side. Excellent. So there's a little bit more room on this side and we can expand that even further if we if we want to on this side. Um, Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to go that way. That is a little tight. Should I? <laughs> I'm going to move them again. <laughs> OCD. This is my OCD now. I'm going to move them again to have a little bit more room. So let's move them all up like two spaces. Let's move them all up two spaces. So let's get rid of that one. It was here. All right. So one, two spaces like so. Get rid of that one and over there. One, two, and and like that. There we go. So this is going to be this is going to be our queuing, our check-in system. Just want to make sure we close all of these until, unless we get a, a lot of people. Oops, wrong button. Um, unless we get everything. I'd highly recommend going to Heathrow. I'm from Manchester in the UK, so I just have a three hour drive to London. So I go once or twice a year. So I know it quite well. Yeah. Oh, good, good. Um, you've got plenty of airports in the UK. There's like London, Heathrow, there's Gatwick. Um, there's, there's, I think you've got Manchester has got, got an airport as well. I think Emirates flies to all three of them. Um, so yeah, plenty of airports in the UK. To go and uh, to go and do some uh, some plane spotting. Okay, what's going on? Google Manchester Terminal two picks and copy it. <laughs> it's space efficient. Okay, good to know. Also good to know. Okay, well I think this is now the more appropriate sizing for our chicken area. So I'm quite happy with with it now. I think there's now enough room enough room for it there and then let's just do this last one over here 
Excellent. So there we go. So this is going to be our two rows. And what we can do is we can expand it even further over there. Then we just need to kind of see how we do um, security. Um, so potentially what I'll do is I'll move the exit channels over here and we'll move security up onto the next level also. Uh, but I still do want to maybe leave a little bit of room here for people to get to a little bit of a plane spotters cafe. Okay, so we're going to have to expand this area even more so that we can uh, can get so I'll, I'll get it to run again so that we can get some more cash. Um, okay, so let's uh, bring these up and I just want to make sure we make sure we close them as we go. We don't want people uh, to come and come in here now. And that one over there and then Perfect. So now let's just close all of these guys. Yeah, so this is going to be our new check-in area. It's going to have a lot more capacity. Uh, okay, let's put some more stuff in. I'll just quickly pause it while we um, do all of this. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. So what I'll do is I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do the, the the security over here, and then from security you'll go through. Yeah, you can just go straight through here. So we'll have to do more uh, duty free up here. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Then it's only gonna be baggage claim at the bottom. So we're gonna get rid of all of this, and we're gonna have a nice big baggage claim area, maybe with some shops and cafes in there. I'm from Manchester and our airport here is a massive expansion plan for next year or the year after it's cost of billion pounds <clears throat> because more and more airlines are wanting to slots. Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. Now, the, the UK is, a, is one of those busy places. I mean, as I, as I just said, I think Emirates flies to flies to all three the, um, the kind of the kind of main airports in uh, in the UK. Uh, well, in England and then obviously in Scotland and so on as well. Okay, so now that's in place. Now we just need to kind of get our new secure area up and running. And I'm kind of wondering where we'll do, we'll just do, we'll see. Let's let's quickly have a look. And we also need a nice big new um, staff room. Of course, you've already mentioned that. So let's expand this section over here a little bit. We, have, we don't have a lot of cash, so maybe we'll just let it uh, let it run a little bit more but yeah this is a bit of a nightmare how's our security going okay so let's see how this works that's uh picking up uh, mostly uh the bags are doing fine it seems wow we do need to sp split this out a little bit that is just way too busy so i do want us to get get the rest of these baggage hubs working We have, yeah, we have got plenty of remote sets. Do we have delays at the moment? We seem to have uh, a number of delays going on. How, um, okay, I, I, actually, let's have a look at this. Okay, so the delays are pretty minor, it seems. Yes, 15 minutes delay only at C1. So the rest are all working. So C1 is just... Uh, waiting to fill up with fuel so our fuel is really an issue let's get some more um how many fuel trucks do we actually have let's go to the vehicles and just have a look jet i one jet we've got five jet i one fuel big fuel trucks and where are they there's one over here the others are just kind of driving around because it doesn't oh here comes another one but yeah we really need to get this i380 loaded with fuel much much quicker how do we prioritize it uh, yes emirates do because we have three a three i three a380 flights a day to here and seven to heathrow a day and three to gatwick yeah that's just enormous amounts of people so there it's finally going but that's quite late that is very very late so probably already the next flight is going to be delayed so we are now in deep trouble 
here comes the next one it's a little smaller it's probably the 787 yeah 7879 model <laughs> look at those two we do need to get this the rest of this kind of upgraded it would be quite muddy out there um okay now where were we uh, up here with the check-in we do need to sort out our check-in so let's quickly continue going with that and let's expand over here a little bit that's fine um, I want to kind of do secure area up here so there's a little bit of room between them so let's clear that out and let's then do uh, okay our secure area would have to start somewhere over here do something like that I want to see if we can squeeze something else by actually but maybe we'll we'll do that a little differently so if I do that and I go for the security pieces make a new fuel depot next to the big plane stand so it's much closer yes I think that is actually um, and quicker I think that is a that is a very good idea that is a very good idea yes this is what I want to do so let's do one two three uh, let's just close these for now Okay, more, more big areas here. One, two, three. Um, and all we'll do is get get the squeeze in. I think that's going to be. I'm hoping that's going to be sufficient for now. Switch off, switch off. Thank you. Close it. And um, what I want to do is I want to get the uh, the other one for staff. Actually, the staff one could actually stay on the ground floor. And then we'll just have the big ones up here for the passengers. Yes, I think that's okay. Staff, do staff need to get through? Yeah, it's fine. Let's just do that. We'll close that one off. Okay, so now they're all closed. Uh, now we obviously need uh, a bit more, a bit more security stuff. No, it's closed. You don't, you don't. We don't need them just yet. Cancel the next flight for the big stand because it'll keep uh, delay. Yes, you're right. You're right, that is a, a good suggestion. Let's, uh, actually, the stand is empty. And the next flight is coming in. So did this flight leave on time? I have no idea what happened with that flight. But the next flight should arrive now. So it's, it's back, it's back, back up for business. Um, but I do think we need to sort out this somewhere. I'm also thinking, can we put this underground? Is what I'm thinking. Put it underground uh, with our new setup over here. Where's the next big flight? Here it comes. So that should be pretty much on time, right? Oh, it's a little late in arriving, but other, other than that, it should be okay. Good stuff. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll channel these guys through to that side. So let's grab um, a little bit of this. Let's do that. Perfect. So that's uh, that, that's where we'll do it. Oops, that's the wrong button. Yet again. Okay, let's get rid of these walls. Keep a staff one upstairs and downstairs in case of an emergency. Yeah, I kind of I kind of feel the same way about it. I'm kind of wondering if we can squeeze it in there like I did with the other airport. Anyway, let's uh, let's hook up the uh, secure area up to that one over there. So now. You can actually go straight into into the stop level over here we can do another duty free zone over here so what i'm going to try and squeeze in with the security is do the small one and kind of squeeze it oh it must be connected oh, of course so let's just uh, let's just clear out let's just clear out this little section through there and then what i wanted to do oops that's the big one I wanted to do that yeah and then this will be our staff one. Ooh, I need to and close it as well. That's staff. This is not going to be staffs. So just close all of these for the for the staff. And it's going to be passengers only on these. Why are you guys hanging out over here? Okay, now let's uh, need a bit of a queue for that one. Well, we'll need a queue for all of them. Okay, that's going to be going to be the the staff channel and these other ones are going to need cues as well okay so there we go now what we need to do is we need to find a way that we're going to get these bag these bags down to the bottom i'm going to continue the um the game so that we can keep making money i'm going to run it up to there and then i'm going to run it up to here 
And then now the moment of truth, where do these things drop down to? Hmm. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, then we go down here and we'll do that and that and we'll just have to kind of close them down. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Now this is not good. Okay, so let's uh let's expand this area over here a little bit as well. Okay. Let's do a little something like that. Can probably do more. Keep stuff on upstairs. Okay, imagine the Ryanair at your airport in real in real life. They only stay on the ground for 30 minutes. Then they go. Yeah, so I'll I'll struggle with Ryanair. That's why I don't that's why I don't use the mod for the real airlines because I just know Ryanair is gonna struggle on the, at this airport. With very, very cheap flights, yes. I've flown Ryanair a few times. To be honest, I've flown Ryanair where the first time I flew Ryanair, I've flown them a, a few times, but I don't I don't like flying them with them. But the first time I flew I flew Ryanair, um, I did not realize they have this massive penalty with the with the boarding passes. And so, of course, what happened was, is that I uh, got to, to check in and said, oh, guys, please print my boarding pass. I, uh, I couldn't print it at the hotel or something like that. And then they, of course, charged me 50 euros to, uh, to print my boarding pass for me. That was just, that was just the craziest thing. I, uh, I'm never, I'm never going to forget that. Never going to forget that. Okay, so now at least we should be able to hook up the uh, the chicken we should be able to hook up the other chicken oh look at this the floor is actually clean well partly clean some areas are clean this area is starting to look pretty good i uh, can't wait to open that up for business here uh our money is running running a little low again how's this guy doing are you what is something is something is wrong somewhere I'm getting tons of little little notifications of things going wrong somewhere. Okay, can't find their way. Make sure the accessible path through walls. Uh, where do you want to go? But it is resolved. So the incident tracker is actually resolving them. So I don't know why. I think there might be... Okay, let's just quickly see. These guys need to be renewed. Let's quickly renew them. Like a two-star, maybe. Yes, fly go. Get that. And similarly over here. Maybe this one can actually do a three-star. Nope, we can't. Don't want to reject it. Let's just go for a two. Bell beer. Excellent. There we go. So those can make us money yet again. That's kind of the plan. Why why do we have why do we have issues now? No idea what's going on. I, honestly, I don't know what's going on. What's going on over here? Push back in progress, right? Yes, there we go. And what, your, what was your departure time? C1. Let's quickly have a look. How did C1 go? C1's on time. Look at that. Look at that. I'm. This is actually operating pretty well. Everyone keeps saying that they will make you pay for, to for toilets, me. <laughs> uh, yes, Ryanair do the because those stupid airline easy jets. It's free, I think. Most airlines, it's free. Even even the even the budget airlines. On second previous message, it's Ryanair. <laughs> uh, okay, I still don't know what's going on with my with a lot of issues here, but I'm just going to ignore it for now. Uh, I think what we need to do is we need to open up uh, this for business up here. So let me quickly do the queues and then we'll open up all of these um, so that we can drop the uh, the bottom ones. So th this is something that I, I find a little tedious about this game is the, uh, the creating of the queues. But I do get that you would want to have that freedom to kind of create a queue the way you wanted to. But yeah, it's it's not, I mean... Especially because it's directly linked to the one. It's not like I can create one big queue for all of them, like you would typically do in some airports. So 
I don't know. 